June, we arrived in Bahia San Carlos, 8 miles or 13 kilometers, west of Guaymas, Sonora, Mexico. There, we removed all the sails and running rigging and had Miet hauled out on land. The experience of seeing your floating home pass by you on the road is unsettling, but the staff of San Carlos Marina Seca are very careful and professional. As you might have seen in another video, we took a combination of buses and trains to return to Portland, Oregon. That was an exhausting four-day journey, but we arrived to see family and friends happy and waiting to see us. In Portland, we did some house sitting and dog sitting, keeping ourselves busy to earn our stay. After summer in Baja, we were thrilled to see the color green again and the tall trees of the Pacific Northwest. Our newest family members like the outdoors too. In September, we returned to San Carlos to prepare Miet for her return to the water, putting the solar panels back up, turning the fridge back on, and reinstalling the running rigging. Taking one last look at Miet's underside before she goes back in the water. We got a new zinc on the max prop, new zinc on the shaft. Painted the foot this time because that grew a lot of barnacles. Here's our depth sounder. This is our water speed indicator. Screw holes are open, there's one there. Paint is looking good. Okay, I'm about ready to take this ladder down. Another trip down the highway to the marina for Miet, and we had her back in the water. We are back in the water. It's been a while since we steered a boat. Anchored out in the bay, we finished installing the sails and making fresh water for our tanks. Sean even inflated her paddleboard to get in a bit of exercise. Carlos to Wyman. 
plátanos. Bus stop snacks. Hmm? Bus stop snacks. Bus stop snacks. We're here somewhere near Wymus. Did some shopping over at Lay. We're waiting for the bus. Our stay in the bay was short lived, however as we decided to look over our electrical system and took a slip in the marina. We did take a break one day to celebrate Sean's birthday. She wanted to go to a remote beach outside the bay, so we dinghied to Playa El Tomate. to a little beach here if you haven't been to this beach before I'm gonna leave Rusty right there got a little rock anchor up that holds but the water doesn't come up this far now we're gonna find a trail up around here through to the other side 